Hi guys, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Doing great. Uh, to start, I I keep telling everyone this, but I'm obsessed with the just the premise of the show as a whole because I think it's very fun. Um, but I do love very, very much so watching Charlie and Padgy's relationship kind of blossom in the show because it starts out, they're already together and then we get to continue to see that grow. For you guys, what was the joy of getting to explore that in a format like this series, which is animated and you guys probably didn't record together and had to kind of build that dynamic up on your own. I took my cues from the page and the direction that I was getting from Viv, but like, it's really clear to me that these two are very deeply in love. They really rely on each other. They're true teammates. I think that's a big part of being in true love is finding a true teammate. Um, for Vaggy, you know, she's, what Charlie wants in this world is what Vaggy wants to like, it, it's, it's like, I don't know how to describe it exactly other than like, when you're in love, you deeply want to see the dreams of the person you love come true. And so you'll do anything, go anywhere, go to any length to help support that dream. And it just so happens her girlfriend's dream is to, to rehab centers at the Hasman Hotel, which is like a very daunting task because we're Big living task. in hell, you know? <laughs> um, but there's something, and 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 I think that like Baggy has a heart of gold, and I think that that's what she responds to in Charlie. Charlie is really looking at this world, literally hell, through rose-colored glasses. I mean, she sings through like getting brains in her eye. You know, <laughs> she's like, there's nothing. There, there's something so beautiful about someone who looks at the world and and says how can i make this a better place and i think that that's what baggy's in love with and i i just love that that the core relationship one of the core relationships of this show is a very loving very gay very sexy very cute relationship between these two women yeah and erica you do have my laughed out loud in the first song in the show is it's a happy day in hell and then it has just it just continued because charlie is so positive and i'm just kind of like this that's really nice because you know everyone else is demons or demon adjacent and then she's like no hey i'm really happy to be loose for his daughter rehabbing people for you when you are kind of being that positivity in a show like this what is the fun of like charlie as it is I think the fun is that, I mean, somebody uses the term like aggressively positive. She's aggressive. <laughs> um, so that's what's fun is she's not naive. If she's naive, it's just because she really believes that things can change. And I think that is that's the best way to see the world is that if I try hard enough, I can change this. Um, and so that's a really optimistic way of thinking. But the way she's going to go about it is she is going to fight tooth and nail to do so, which is why I think... It's why I think she and Baggy have that bond is because Baggy instills that in her that like, mm -hmm. do not give up. Um, but that's my favorite thing about Charlie is I'll me Erica as a person will sometimes be like, oh, that looks too difficult or that's a confrontation. I can't go there. And Charlie's like, oh, we're fucking going there if it matters <laughs> enough to her. Um, which which her friends and and her loved ones do. Yeah, and Stephanie, you do get to sing one of the best duets of the show so like that I have seen so far and I loved it so much because it was you and Daphne right doing a number together and I was like oh this this rules I'm having so much fun watching this but you I do love when like I get to hear you sing because I feel like it went from not, you weren't singing and everyone knew you for one thing and then now you're singing and everything and it makes me very happy <laughs> but what for you was was the joy of getting to do something like that because like for me as a theater nerd I was giggling and having a hoot and a holler but like for you as an actor how was it kind of like navigating that duet uh I I'm I have been a fan of Daphne Ruben Vegas since I was a teenager when she was in Rent I had her picture mm -hmm. printed out from the library on my wall you know no uh, I did. I I watched her, you know, somebody got their hands on like a bootleg performance of her video performance of her on Broadway doing French. And I watched it over and over and over. 
Um, and then the first time I met her was when we did In the Heights together and we mm-hmm. worked music for In the Heights and I just was flabbergasted that I was getting to work with her. And so to, to get to collaborate with her again is really great. And I think structurally, without giving too much away, I think what's really interesting about the structure of that song is that it is a duet. However, the core yearning of the song is it's like reflected in both of the stories, but it's different. Mm -hmm. It's slightly different. And the sound of our voices as we are performing the song is very different. And that's on purpose because her character is going through one kind of arc and my character is going through a very different arc. And you're also seeing my character in a very, 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 very extremely private moment. It's really just baggy and the audience is listening to that song. It is the most vulnerable that she is really ever. Um, And so the vulnerability in the vocal tone was a choice. It's a a choice because I, uh, the other stuff that I've done musically, it's like kind of a a more nasal sound, a more high pitch, sort of like strong, sometimes a uh, pretty young sound. And this was a really totally different side of my voice um, on purpose, which I think is like there's a lot of layers there. And like that's get we're getting into like nerd talk about you know music process. and sound <laughs> and process, but that that is sort of like what I one of the nerdy things that I like about that song. Um, And then like, you know, I just love Daphne's voice. I love, I love the sound of Daphne's voice. It is so specific. It is Mm -hmm. so, there is no one else on the planet that sounds like Daphne Rubin Vega. You know her voice immediately when she starts singing. And it's just like, it's like, it makes Mm -hmm. you just melt. As soon as she starts talking, you know, it's like, uh, that's Daphne Rubin Vega. After that is. Just like, (laughs) A queen, a queen. Uh, I loved it so much. Uh, thank you guys for talking with me, and I can't wait for people to get to watch the show because I'm obsessed with it. So I want everyone to watch it so we can I can talk to more people about it. Yes. Yeah. Nice <laughs> thank you.